In this video, I'm talking about the Advanced Bionics Naida Q90 Cochlear Implant. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Cochlear implants really are amazing pieces of technology. And when hearing aids are no longer capable of doing the job, cochlear implants can come in and bypass most of the structures that you would traditionally use to hear and stimulate the auditory nerve directly. But like I talked about in my last video about cochlear implants, there are several different companies out there that have different types of technology. And ultimately, you're going to have to make the decision on which company is right for you. One of these companies is Advanced Bionics, otherwise known as AB. They are a subsidiary of Sonova who also owns Phonak and Unitron. Sonova is really good at treating hearing loss and it definitely shows in their cochlear implants. So in this video, I'm gonna share five reasons why the AB Naida Q90 might be the right cochlear implant for you. Number one is that they have four different microphones connected to the processor. Like a traditional hearing aid, they have a forward and a rear microphone that actually sits on the portion that goes behind your ear, but they also have a headpiece microphone and what they call a T-coil. Now the T-coil is unique because it actually sits right in front of your ear canal right here. It was traditionally designed to when you hold the phone up to your ear, it's in the perfect location to pick up the sound from the phone, but they soon realized that it actually improves your ability to understand speech because it uses the pinna effect, which essentially gathers sound from in front of you and can somewhat restrict sound that's coming from behind you. So this actually improves your ability to understand speech in a noisy situation as well. Number two is the Naida Link. Cochlear implant recipients typically only get implanted in one ear, and in order to maximize the performance of that one ear, they should really be using a hearing aid in the opposite ear. We call this a bimodal setup. And what Advanced Bionics has done is they've actually created a compatible hearing aid for that opposite ear that is directly linking to the cochlear implant, which will improve your performance even more. When your audiologist is programming your cochlear implant processor, it will generate a code that can be entered into the software for your Naida Link hearing aid. This will transfer all of the settings into that hearing aid so it knows exactly how to communicate with that cochlear implant. The Naida Link is an accessory option when you're actually placing your order for your cochlear implant. Number three is the Naida Link cross transmitter, which is another accessory option when you're placing your order for your cochlear implants. Essentially, the cross transmitter is something that's more familiar with individuals with single sided deafness, and they take this transmitter, they put it on their ear that doesn't hear anymore, and it will send that sound over to your cochlear implant where you can understand it much better, meaning it will give you access to sound that is on the non implanted side of your head. Number four is current steering technology. Now bear with me on this one. This right here is the implantable portion of the cochlear implant. And this little coil down here at the bottom actually holds 16 different electrodes that will be inserted into your hearing organ, which is known as your cochlea right here. And these 16 electrodes, what Advanced Bionics has done with them is they've given each one of these electrodes their individual power sources. And when they apply different amounts of power to different electrodes, they can actually create phantom electrodes. And so you can go from 16 electrodes to 120 phantom electrodes. What this allows Advanced Bionics to do is give much more precise stimulation on that auditory nerve because they can stimulate each one of them a different amount and trigger different responses along your auditory nerve. Number five is that the implant is upgradable. Now I'm not talking about the portion that's sitting on your ear. That of course is upgradable. About every five years you can get a new one of those. I'm talking about the portion that sits underneath your scalp and that's inserted into your cochlea. Now you wouldn't necessarily want to remove this device and replace it with a new one unless it was absolutely necessary, but I'm talking about the chip that's inside of it. Only about 30% of that chip is being utilized at the current moment, which means that there's plenty of room for upgrades to firmware and software in the future. Overall treatment outcomes for the different cochlear implant manufacturers are very similar. You just need to make sure that you put in the time to identify which features are going to solve your needs and wants the most. And it's also important to pay attention to what type of support you're going to get from each particular company because you will be reaching out to them regularly throughout the entire course of your treatment. 
If you want to learn more about the Advanced Bionics Naida Q90 cochlear implant, then make sure you check out their website at www.advancedbionics.com. And if you think that you're a candidate for a cochlear implant, the next step is to actually schedule a hearing evaluation with an audiologist so they can get you pointed in the right direction. Now, if you want to know the process of getting a cochlear implant, then I highly recommend that you watch my video that I will link in the card up here and in the description below. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.